Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Shores and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this teal and lime green eyeshadow. It also has a bit of gold and orange. So if you'd like to see how I created it, keep watching. I'm going to start out with a base shadow. So I'm just taking Lorox Nude on a Sigma Large Fluff and I'm applying that all over the upper part of my lid just to make blending easier. I'm now going in with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and I'm using a Hakuhodo J5522 and I'm applying this in the crease and then I'm going to be diffusing it upwards. This is going to act as our transition shade. I like to use oranges as transition shades, especially with blue eyeshadows. I find that that makes it a lot more wearable and doesn't look like you got punched in the eye or something. I also bring it on my lower lash line since we are going to pull some green down there. I'm now going in with a Hakuhodo J142 and I'm taking Chickadee. This is a very orangey yellow shadow and I'm going to be pulling this through our crease. Like I said, I like using oranges to transition blues into my skin tone. You can go for different colors or even slightly cooler browns, but I wouldn't try to blend a blue into your actual skin. You definitely want some type of transition shade. You could even use greens but then you'd still probably want a transition shade. Now I'm going with Urban Decay 24 seven liner in deep end and I'm starting to just apply this over my lid just out of the pencil. But then the first time I did this, I got a really harsh line and it didn't really work out. So I decided going in with a Sigma E32 just to blend the edges of this ends up being a lot easier in the end. So I definitely use either your finger or some type of synthetic brush to really blend that blue out. And now I'm going in with Urban Decay Fringe and this is basically the same color as Deep End and I'm just using AMAC 242 to apply that. You definitely wanna use patting motions because this will go all over. And again, blues are something you don't really just want on your skin. I then went in with a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush just trying to get the edges a bit softer since again, we're going blue and orange, so they're not gonna blend very well. So you wanna be really careful or just muddy them up. Now I'm going in with a Hakuhodo J146 and I'm taking Max Saddle, again, because it's that warm brown, just to start diffusing the colors. As you can see, as I go over the blue, it's kind of becoming a little more neutral because it's starting to get muddied by the saddle. So you wanna be really careful when you do this and don't really pull your brush with any of the orangey brown color over the blue where it doesn't need to be. So be careful and use a small brush for the step. I'm now going in with Urban Decay Gonzo and now I'm taking that over just the edge of the blue. Again, it's gonna go over slightly where we applied that warm brown. Again, just take care here, so. This is not for the faint of heart when it comes to blending, but you can do it. Just use small little circles and small enough brushes that they will actually fit your eye shape. I use rather small brushes because I don't have very large eyes and my lids are hooded. You could even use a pencil brush if you have smaller lids than me. I'm now just going in with a clean brush. This is just a Sigma E32 just to blend the edges. I'm now going in with Sugar Pill Acid Berry, which is this gorgeous lime green that I'm obsessed with. And I'm just taking it on this Hakuhodo brush and pulling it all the way along my lower lash line. I then switched over to a Sigma E32 to blend it out even farther. Since again, just I just always put a lot of color on my lower lash line. It's been a trend. I'm now taking Thrash by Urban Decay and I'm pulling that just in my tear duct area because I wanted even more acid green. Now I'm taking Sugar Pills Goldilocks and I'm applying this with a wet brush. So I've already sprayed my brush with a little bit of Cinema Secrets Moisture Spray and I'm just patting that on my tear duct and up a little bit in the inner corner. I'm now taking the NYX Liquid Black Liner and I'm just gonna line my eyes and add a really small wing. You could definitely do a more intense wing if you'd like but I do recommend some type of black line just to break up the blue against your eyes. Since I have blue eyes, blue isn't going to really enhance my eye color very much. And I find that if I have blue against my blue eyes, it doesn't look very good. So I always have a liner there. 
Now I'm just taking a little bit of black eyeshadow and just softening the edge of my liner. And I started out applying a nude liner to my waterline, just because again, we're working with blues, you have to take some care. Um, go ahead and curl your lashes and add some lashes if you want. I'm using the Nubusum Bella lashes, which are crazy intense, but they're really fun. And that's the finished look with that nude liner. I also paired it with a nude lip and a peach blush. And as you can see here, I've actually switched out my nude liner on my waterline and went for an orange, which I definitely like this better. I think it's a lot more fun and it does a little bit more from actual eye color. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this colorful look. Let me know if there's any color combos you'd like to see next in the down box below. And I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.